Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome to the stage of the animated comedy club, Joe Lecky. Thank you. Uh, thank you, everyone. Man, I'm so glad summer's finally here because this past winter has been a heck of a one. I mean, it wasn't just the cold and the snow. It was all the southern drivers we've had up here this year. I mean, southern people cannot drive in snow whatsoever. I mean, they drive around here up in the wintertime and they hit a slick spot and they're like, Oh, shit! But when northern drivers drive and they hit a slick spot, it's like, Hold my beer, watch this shit. <laughs> they may not be able to drive in the wintertime, but boy, they sure do get rowdy in bars, though. I was uh, in a bar down south one time sitting in one of the booths and this little dude came up and was sitting in a bar next to a big biker type dude. And the uh, next thing I knew, the, the biker dude threw the little, little guy onto the floor. And then the uh, biker dude looked down at the small dude and just sat there and told him, That was judo from Japan! You know, and the, the little guy, he just got up and sat back in the bar and started drinking his beer again. And then sure enough, the big guy did it again. He threw the little guy back down on the floor and stated, I said that was judo from Japan! So uh, the, the little guy got up off the floor and decided to walk out the door. Now I figured, well, that's that's about the end of it. He'd taken off, but boy, was I wrong! Because about two minutes later, the little dude came back in, came up behind the big guy, and all of a sudden, wham! Big guy hits the floor. And then the bartender turned around, and looked at the little guy, and the little guy looked straight at the bartender and said, "Now you tell that son of a bitch when he wakes up that that there was a crowbar from Sears." <laughs> <laughs> but anyway, I gotta tell you a story that happened to me when I was younger. And this happened back about the time I was about 11 or 12 years old. I was living with my aunt and uncle at the time. Me and a friend of mine were in a side street just outside of my house uh, playing catch with a football. And uh, my uncle came out and saw us playing in the middle of the street playing catch. And uh, he turned over and yelled at us, he goes, hey, what are you doing playing in the middle of the street? Have you lost your mind? And I turned around and told him, yeah, I'm out here looking for it. It's around here somewhere. At that point in time, he turned around and said to me, well, if you find it, bring it back here to me so I can knock some sense back into you. Needless to say, I avoided coming back in the house for the rest of the day. <laughs> But eventually I did have to go home because it was getting dark out. And I did happen to run into my uncle who asked me, Did you find your brains yet? And I turned around and I looked at him. And I looked at him and told him, No, but we do have wanted posters up all over town saying if it's ever found to come give it to me. <laughs> it's a good thing I didn't get my ass beat for that remark. But there was one time that my uncle did beat me for uh, giving a little smart remark. My uncle and I were sitting at a table and uh, he kind of turned around and looked at me and asked me, All I see you hanging around with is guys. I don't see you with any girls. What are you, queer or something? At uh, which time I turned around and looked at him and I go, Well, if I am, it must run in the family. <laughs> and I don't think the ass beating he gave me for that remark wouldn't have been as bad if I wouldn't have yelled rape when he tried to pull down my pants and pull me over his knee to paddle him. <laughs> Thanks a lot, y'all been great. Catch y'all next time. <laughs>